face and the horse figures like the seven does, then I'm going to put that horse in there too. So the two horse up striker, the one horse super stock and the seven horse calibrate in tomorrow's ninth, the Claiborne breeders futurity at Keenan. So closing out the pick five tomorrow is the grade one Shadwell. One of my favorite races of the year because they always seems like always draw large fields, especially when the races run on a firm turf course. Do you have a lot of possibilities here? A lot to unpack when you when you're trying to handicap here. And you get a lot of horses. And and for me, I can just say that a lot of turf horses and turf races, I look for horses who are not who, who ran poorly or evenly, but were well bet, and I'm and I and I think those horses very very dangerous. So I'm using five horses in this race in the closeout leg, and I'll try to go through them quickly because I don't want to keep you you all a long time. I've already been on there 15 minutes too long, so let me try to get through this as quick as possible. Let's start with the six horse Raging Bull. Now Chad Brown has four in here. I'm not going to choose all the four Chad Brown horses. I don't play like that. I don't think all these horses are going to run, you know, finish out the super factor. I don't think like that. But I do like two of them in here. So the number six horse, Raging Bulls, is taking blinkers off. Now, this horse has a win on Keeneland's turf course, okay? And so I look at when how a mile is really a good distance, for this horse uh, because of the pace. Usually if you when you look at the running lines on Raging Bull, he's far back a lot. So br taking blinkers off might keep him a little further back. And in that case, you would hope that there's some speed in the race. And there is a little speed in the race, obviously the two horse Halliday. But I'm going to put Raging Bull on top because of the, the, the equipment change, the blinkers off. The horse does have a good, uh, good Keeneland form. And as I say, it's a Chad Brown, Joel Rosario. So I think this horse will bounce back. The horse was favored over the two-horse uh, Halliday at Saratoga last time on the tight inner course. So I think this more uh, more flat, more wider course at Keeneland will help the six-horse Raging Bull. My second choice in the race is the number three horse without parole. Now, this is another Chad Brown horse. Now, this horse was also in the grade one four-star day. The horse was six. He, uh, he was six to one. I read with half the horse pretty wide that day, could not, you know, could not uh, uh, maneuver out a, a plan to get to the wire to get any run into him that day. So I was just going to throw that race out. The horse in the Shoemaker Mile and the Maker's Mark Mile at Keeneland earlier this year, where he was two to one in both races and ran credibly, only missed by three quarters of a length here at Keeneland and then also in the Shoemaker Mile, the flat mile at Santa Anita just missed by two lengths, where the horse was really, really bad, actually favored over Raging Bull. So without parole, with Julian Lepper rules, uh, as we know, as, a, as an outstanding turf rider, good post position in the three holes, should be able to save some ground and come running home late. I also like the nine-horse parlor. This is a horse who's also raced in the Maker's Mile at Keeneland here earlier. Now, long odds, missed by a nose, but was on the lead, so... I think that trainer Mike Maker will tell uh, Umberto to put this horse a little closer like he ran last time at Keenan, unlike the race at that backyard of a metal track of this called Kentucky Downs, where he was never really in it, but was the favorite in a high price uh, stake race. But I think that going back towards the lead here, like at Keenan back in July, will be the difference for this horse. So I, I love this horse in my sequence, the number nine horse parlor, as well as the number 11 horse Ivar. Now Ivar is taking blinkers off. Kind of was, was in that same race with the nine horse parlor. They were kind of running mostly together, but I think that uh, Paula Lobo is taking the blinkers off because I thought he thought that Ivar was a little uh, too close to the pace, a little keen throwing his head. And you know, this Brazilian bred horse would probably be better with the, with the shades off tomorrow. So I'm definitely throwing that horse in there as well. As well as the seven horse Flavius. Uh, I said I was only going to use Chad Brown twice, but uh, I guess I like that horse too. Now this horse has the big 105 buyer last time at 
the same race. So I'm looking at these races, these horses coming out this same race at, at Kentucky Downs. Javier rode him that particular day. Uh, Ricardo gets on this horse. Now, Ricardo's not known as not known as a, a, a an outstanding or a good turf rider. There's obviously other turf riders that you would look to first, but Chad's given him a chance here. And like I said, coming off the big 105 buyer, let's see what Ricardo can do with this horse. And I know he's going to be hustling hard for Chad Brown because he already has Steve. And now if he can, if he can show Chad Brown some of his talent, then he can start getting some of Chad Brown stock on the turf. And that would really, you know, up his ante when it comes to, you know, his status in the jockey's colony. So yeah, I, I like the seven horse Flabby. So to recap, the six horse Raging Bull on top, the three without parole, the seven Flavius, the nine Parlor, and the 11 Ivar. Five horse sequence in the closing leg of the pick five, $90 if my calculations are right. So let's see what we go with there. Hopefully uh, you will play this. Good luck to you if you have to put, uh, get in there with some friends, cut down the price a little bit. But um, this is what I like, and I will get back to you next week on Thoroughbred Ticket to see just how I did. So good luck at Keeneland tomorrow, and enjoy the races. This is Kenneth Moultrie, and you take care. This has been the exotic wager portion of Thoroughbred Ticket with your host, Kenneth Moultrie. Please tune in again next time, and especially share... If this show gave you a pick four, five, or six that catapulted you to having a great day at the track.